Mm. I like that. I like that. For many people, cemeteries are a place of darkness. But starting tomorrow, Atlanta's historic Oakland Cemetery will be filled with light even after the sun sets. Yeah, the cemetery is presenting an after hours experience called Illumine and literally shines a light on some of Oakland's hidden stories. Mm. And there's a lot there, too. Good day, Atlanta's Paul Milliken got the first look last night. He joins us now live from Oakland Cemetery. Two things. Yeah. The one reason I didn't mention you, you're not a big enough star. <laughs> and the second thing <laughs> is, one of my favorite oh, okay. things That's about it. Oakland yeah. Cemetery yeah. is the golf balls <laughs> over at the grave of Bobby Jones. Mm. I knew you were going to bring it up, and I already checked when I was here last night. Those are not lit up. They don't oh. have little lit up golf balls, but I knew you were going to ask about that. I mean, the golf balls are still here, and you can still come see the grave. But, you know, stories like that, the one you mentioned, of course, Bobby Jones, Margaret Mitchell, Maynard Jackson, those are the stories that everybody knows about Oakland Cemetery. But there are so many more stories here, countless stories that we've never heard and that are really important to the fabric of our city, and that's what Illumin is all about. So as you just mentioned, I was here last night. It was an amazing preview, and this is four nights only. So if you want to see this, you probably should get your tickets today. I have a feeling it's going to sell out. That would make this guy very happy. This is Richard Harker, who's the director of programming. Good to see you. How are you? I'm well. How are you both? By the way, uh, well, I'm tired, and you are too, because we were here late last night. We were here late, yeah. Well, let's talk about Illumin. Before I show everybody the video that I shot last night, I want to ask you why this is something you did. You know, you guys offer a lot of great programming. Why this interactive light installation show. You know, we're really trying to think about new ways to connect people with Oakland Cemetery. Whether yeah. you've been here for 15 times and you want to see the cemetery in a new way or yeah. whether you thought, I don't know if cemetery is my thing. Right. We want to find a way to connect people to this place because yeah. we think it's beautiful. It's a botanical garden. It's a sculpture garden. It's yeah. a national historic site. And yeah. so we just, we were thinking about ways to creatively shine a light on some of those stories. And yeah. like you said, people know some of the famous stories, the sure. governors, the mayors, the, yeah. the politicians, but there's 70,000 people here, oh, 70,000 yeah. stories. So we wanted to be able to shine a light on them. And, and again, each one of those stories is really unique unique to our city and tells a larger story about the creation of Atlanta. So let's go to the video and you'll see what it looks like at night. And remember, this was a preview night, so it's only going to get bigger and brighter by the time it opens on Thursday. Explain how this worked. You had a team of designers that came in and orchestrated. It's it's like a mile long trek. It is. It's a mile long self-guided route. And we have a team of 10 to 12 people who we've been working with, um, some local, some national and, mm -hmm. and friends of friends of ours and people we've met along the way. And and we've been collabor collaboratively thinking about ways to shine a light on the history yeah. and, and beauty of Oakland. And so visitors will come in, they'll, it'll be self-guided, mm -hmm. they can get a, a craft cocktail, a beer from Eventide, yeah. and explore. And I think as you turn the corner, you see things at 7, 8 p.m. that when you see it in the oh, full dark of 9 or 10 p.m., absolutely. it looks completely different. Yeah, when we arrived yesterday and when we left, it had completely transformed. Now, back out here live, if you noticed in that video, there was there were a couple of images of this area lit up at night. It looks totally different. This is the North Public Grounds. Tell our viewers what this area is, because a lot of people picnic here, they relax, they read a book, but what's underneath? 1,500 people, 1,500 people who didn't have the means to buy a family plot, or wow. maybe they were traveling through Atlanta, and, and this was the early original cemetery, so yeah. um, this is this was 1,500 people buried here, and, and as we were thinking about what to do in the Lumen and tell those untold stories, we realized so many people enjoy this space. It's right by the front gate. Yeah. People picnic here, like you said, but being able to change the way people think about mm -hmm. this place, and, and some of the things that maybe you see on a day-to-day -day basis when you're walking your dog or jogging here, yeah. that you can see differently and so um, these stakes represent what we think burials might have looked like here in mm -hmm. the North Public Grounds. We haven't done ground penetrating radar yet. That's mm -hmm. something we want to do soon yeah. so we can really get a sense of exactly what's happening right yeah. here. Um, but again you see it now and it changes the way you see the space and then when you come back at nighttime you know, it really changes. It yeah. really changes. Big and time. yeah, yeah. It, so again, I mean, the next time you're here, you'll walk by the stakes, maybe won't be there. It'll just be this beautiful open area. But then you'll think about it, that there are at least 1500 people under there who couldn't afford a burial plot. So they were just put under there. It really is amazing. And another cool thing, Richard, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Is that there are these lanterns around and they've got information and those are pages of the ledgers, which are now kept at the Atlanta History Center that actually list the people that are are buried here in the North Public Grounds. It gives their name, their age, the way they died. So you get a peek into the people that are buried here. And it's really fascinating. I mean, some of the causes of death, one of them says with fright. 
I have no idea what that means. It would be really interesting to find out. There's railroad accident on there. You've got typhoid fever. I mean, really interesting to read down and again, learn more about the people who don't get the attention here normally at historic Oakland Cemetery. And speaking of that, in the next hour, you guys, we're going to go over a couple of blocks, as it were, here to what's called the Slave Square. Now, I've walked by Slave Square probably dozens of times and didn't really know what it was. And the story there is incredible. So we're going to mm -hmm. tell you that one coming up in the next hour. Yeah, hmm. I can imagine. That really is a fascinating place. Yeah. All right. Paul, thank you. Yeah. Again, a lumen will take over historic Oakland Cemetery starting Thursday, May 9th and continuing through Sunday, May 12th. Only four nights. It's happening nightly from 7 to 1030 p.m. So you want to take advantage. Tickets for the event are available online or you can buy them at the gate. The cost for adults is $20 in advance or $25 at the gate.